Paris, uh, Mukesh has played every format. They, uh, these are back-to-back -back games as well. How impressed have you been with his adaptability from one format to the other? And is there a, a concern about managing his workload? Uh, first, to address the first point, I think extremely happy the way he's progressed. Uh, you know, it's it's very uh, not not many people get an opportunity on one tour they have been to play all three formats, and he's one of the I think maybe the second guy to do that. I think Natarajan may be the first, I'm not too sure, but to get an opportunity to do all, play all three formats is fantastic. And uh, really happy with the way he's progressed in terms of the, the thought processes, the discussions that we had with him. The, his approach towards the game is fabulous. You know, you need someone like him to come here on a tour, play against tough opponents, uh, different kind of wickets, tough wickets, we've been, not been easy. But, but the way that he's gone about and, and the character that he's shown is extremely happy. Yes, he's going to be now going ahead, uh, knowing that uh, he is capable of playing all three formats. We'll have to be smart about the, the workload management with him as well. You know, that's what we're looking at. Young kid, he's played a lot of cricket early, uh, domestic cricket, he's played a lot of cricket. But going ahead, we'll have to be smart in terms of the workload and manage him very well. He's got a lot of quality skill out there. We've spoken a lot about the balance of this team, which seems to be heavy on bowling, perhaps light on batting. As bowling coach, do you monitor the progress of the part-time bowlers that you have? I saw Jaiswal and Tilak bowl a fair bit in training, not just today, but right through this. How far or how soon do you think they'll be ready to be bowling? When you have uh, someone has the ability to kind of chip in, I thought someone like uh, Yash SV and Tilak have, have seen him in the 19 days as well. And I've seen them, I feel they are capable of good, good bowlers. So, so I feel it's something that they can work in, uh, work on at, at this level. And uh, if you have an opportunity, if you have an option of two quality bowlers like that in a game, uh, when required, you might have to use one of them for over at least. So at least once the captain sees, once you have the confidence uh, in them saying that they will deliver in a game, it's, it's always nice to have that option in a game. So we can use them, but uh, maybe slowly we're working on it, will take a little time, but uh, hopefully soon you will see them at least bowling an over uh, each. So yeah, that will be nice. Paras, uh, when you look at a wicket, can you make a diagnosis, right? You said this wicket at the Broward County Stadium is likely to yield a lot of runs. And if I am a bowler, if you are a bowler, you know that I am going to get hit. As a bowling coach, what advice do you give the bowling unit before the start of the match that say, this is not a bowling friendly pitch? How are you going to adapt and how, what uh, advice do you give them? Well. I think this format is such that you got a batsman will come after you. I think that's that's mentally when a discussion when you play this format, you know the batsman is going to come after you. That's that's clear, especially in, in on, a, on a wicket like this. I think what's equally important is to have the dis discipline. Uh, it's important to to kind of deci decide what the, uh, adapt to the plans that we speak about, and that's going to be very important. I think the execution bit then becomes extremely important. You're going to get hit. There'll be the batsman are going to come after you. No doubt about that. But I think if you focus on the execution bit, you're giving yourself the best opportunity to kind of be successful. And I think as long as we focus only on that bit, let let something let's that's because that's controllable. I think execution can be controllable. Your plans are in place, and being aware of the plans is important. So just focus on the execution bit, and that will give you the best opportunity to be successful. As a as a cerebral cricket brain that you are, uh, you know, in medicine sometimes you make a wrong diagnosis, misdiagnosis. When you look at the pitch and you say, this is a batting wicket, 200 plus runs on the cards. How often is that uh, diagnosis wrong? And then you look back using the retrospectoscope. Well, I can say I've always been right, so I can claim that. But I've always been right with my diagnosis, not got wrong. But uh, no, I think, see, oh, let's be honest out here. You, you come and assess a wicket. Yeah, you look at the surface, you look at the conditions, you have a fair idea of the wicket. You're, gonna get, you're not going to get 100% right all the time. Unless and until you played on that venue so often that you actually know which month the wicket turns or which month the, the sun is out, what that kind of stuff. We haven't played so much out here. But uh, you're not going to get everything right. But as long as you get 80% generally, I think you're fair. I think you, you've done a great job in that. And, and then you can work your plans around that strategy on the wicket. India made a solid comeback in the 30-20i. How happy are you as a bowling coach, especially talking about the bowling department, like Sudeep, to play wickets, but overall the bowling performance in, of the team coming into the 4 t 20 i Yeah, I'm uh, extremely happy with the way we fought back, really. 
uh, if you look at the last two, first two games, let's talk about the first two games. I don't think we are far behind the game. We just, uh, the, we had opportunities and unfortunately we couldn't seize those opportunities. Had we got those oppo seized those opportunities, maybe the results would have been different. So in that sense, I'm not really worried that we were really far off the game. We were very much on track. Just a couple of instances that we lost, uh, couldn't seize. But, uh, you know, looking at this, the way we are, I think the way we played this game, uh, we always know that firstly we have the skills to, to take this game forward. Uh, the amount of, uh, the ability that we have right now in all departments, in terms of batting, in terms of bowling, we, I think we take all the right boxes. So, so looking at that, the way we played in the last game, I think it's, it's, it's only one way and that's going up and forward for us from here. And I think it's always sometimes very, it's nice to have a situation where there's, we have no other option, just to, just to play a, bring your A game to the table and that's what you look at. This is extra time.